not a priority at the moment. Kenyans are suffering. They want employment. When when you come and say Maruto and Asaidi and Asaidi are here, we just have a mambo ya mekwa na mambo ya pesa. Leo hii muna sema mkochanga. Kibaki ya lipo ingia kwa hii serekali ya Kenya, Kenya ilikuwa inaretiwa anda chini ya Tanzania. Na lipo ingia alisema kwamba, mtoto mkenya aende shule bila malipo pesa hiku kwa. Yea, kona magari, hatembei kwa mgu. Lakinu kiona ya mekataa finance bill, ni kwa sababu. Yea, anasapoti mwana inji. Mapato, yenye mwana inji anapata ni kidogo sana. Sinaona, Eh, sirikali vile imetangaza ya kwamba wanaengeza ushuru kwa kila mahali na nimeona wafanyakazi kiongozi wa chama cha wafanyakazi leo hii ametangaza kwamba ikiwa bunge inaenda kupitiza 3% wanaenda kutangaza mkomo Kenya hey, good. good this morning i thank god for the gift of life for the few members who are here na hawanijui mimi kwa majina mimi ni president wa hili bunge kwa majina na ni Mr. Robert Makoha Wangoho. Eh, for the few members ambao hawajakuwa na sisi kwa muda hapa. Nime realize kuna kitu hawaelewi kidogo tu ni wakumbushe. Sababu watu wa Kenya kwanza wakiongea hapa naona ni kama wanaambiwa we unaongea vibaya. Niwajulishe kwamba huwa tunawaruhusu ndugu zetu wa vyama zingine pia watoe maoni yao. Watu wa opposition pia tunatoa maoni ye, maoni yetu. Kwa sababu mtu wa UDA ako hapa pia analala njaa. Mtu wa Azimio pia analala njaa. Tuko pamoja. Sasa mtu wa UDA kiongea msianze kumhushia maneno, mkimwambia ati yeye hafai kuongea. Hapa kama uko na jambo unakuja hapa unaambia chairman, unabeba mkono, unapewa nafasi unatoa maoni yako. Kama we ni wa UDA unaruhusiwa kuongea. Kama we ni wa Kenya kwa na ya mi na azimio la umoja Unaruhusiwa kuongea Tuko pamoja Tuko hapa kisheria Na ndiyo maano naona tunaanza kwa maumbi hapa Asante sana Now it is time for the president to give out his views Allow me to travel very fast To Siaya County You all understand that there were wrangles in Siaya County government there is uh, this issue of the deputy uh, governor his name is Odwar and yesterday if you watch the news 38 out of that 9 MCS of Siaya County government voted to oust or to remove or to impeach the deputy governor Bwana Odwar Immediately after the impeachment, Senator Nanti, by the name uh, Samson Charagay, posted and said that they were not going to impeach the deputy governor because you understand constitutionally, after the county, uh, county government has impeached the governor or the deputy, there will be that time that they will be meeting the Senate Senators are going to have a sitting with the impeached deputy governor. So, if Teregay is one of the senators who is supposed to vet this deputy governor and listen to the reasons as why he was impeached, but he's the first one to say that they are not going to impeach him even after or even before listening to the reasons why he was impeached. That shows that Kenya Kwanza people are not following the constitution. Kwezi sema kwamba hamuta muimbich, bila kusikiza kwa nini alikuwa impich. Mimi zamani nilidhanu kiwa na kichwa kubwa unafikiria vizuri sana. But that man is carrying a big head for nothing. You cannot tell us that you are not going to impich him. What if he is corrupt? What if he is not supporting the governor? That is a rape to the Kenyan constitution and we are not going to allow that. Another issue, another issue is about the finance bill. By yesterday the public participation was closed and there were about 150 entities that had 
actually engaged in vetting of the bill. Out of 150, 138 had said no, they had rejected the finance bill 2023. Now, if President Ruto is a friend of the Constitution of Kenya, why is he still forcing people to have their 3% deducted? Atutaki, who are ruled in Akifua, who are in Toto, who are in Chapata Independence in the year 1963. Right now, Atutatisho na Muteyote. Therefore, President Ruto, leave the work you are doing, the work of buying and forcing MPs to pass the bill that is not in the constitution of the citizens of Kenya. And finally, Kunakiti Naitwa National Land Commission of Kenya, the NLC. This is Tulikuwa Tunambia Nyinyi Musipigia Uyu Mutukura. Kwa sababu, yeye na mashamba ni kitu moja. Ako na tamaa kubwa sana ya mashamba. Right now, as I'm talking, Amesha Nyanganya Mamulaka National Land Commission, NLC. Why do you think amewanyanganya Mamulaka? Amewanyanganya Mamulaka ili awanyanganya the right to determine the value of land. Weo kitaka kuuza land, leo hii na akuru, utaanza kuambiwa bei yenye haitakikani. Na ukienda kwa maofisi huko, utapata ruta alisha wapigia kura watafuata maagizo yake hutasaidika vile inawezekana ama inatakikana na ndio maana amewanyanganya mamlaka that is a rep to our constitution yeye kama president he is the symbol of the national unity he is the symbol of the national unity therefore hafai kuingilia mashirika ambayo amepeana kazi wafanyie wa Kenya wetu Duko pamoja so Maongezi iliyokuwepo kati ya Azimio na Kenya Kwanza imefaili kwa kuendelea that is to mean it is a signal to us to kuwa tayari kwenda maandamano kama Azimio leader ataitisha ata maandamano Kenya yetu tuko pamoja Raila Odinga anapigania mwananchi wa kawaida Raila Odinga alishasema yeye ako na chakula ya kutosha nyumbani kwake. Yeye ako na magari atembei kwa mguu. Lakini ukiona yeye amekataa finance bill ni kwa sababu yeye ana support mwananchi. Mapato yenye mwananchi anapata ni kidogo sana ukatwa tena na serikali ambayo alipigia kura. Tuko pamoja. Sasa William Ruto wewe ukisimama alafu na insight wananchi huko eh, Busia ati hamtaki watu wa Benslip wafanye nini wakatwe pesa hiyo ni mambo mbaya sana you cannot be the president and you are inciting the common mwananchi sisi mtu kuwa kwa serikali kama amepata kazi sio punishment i'm saying this president the symbol of national unity tuko pamoja sasa yeye ni vibaya anasimama alafu ana insight. Wanainja anawaambia watu wa Facebook wakatwe pesa. Kwani ni dhambi kupata kazi yenye unalipwa kwa Facebook. Sio ni makosa sana. Mtu wa chini pia siku ingine atakuwa kwa Facebook. Sasa ukiambia mtu wa chini atianyamaze mtu wa Facebook wakatwe 3%. Huo ni unyama na haitakikani. Tuko pamoja. So nimesema hivyo. In this one minute, Raisi anakuanga Raisi wa watu wote akisha pigiwa kura. Sasa ukikuja badayo naambia mtu mwenye hajaandikwa, atiwe nyamaza, ati huyu wa payslip, wacha ya katwe. Iyo ni makosa sana. Na saa hiyo, hameongeza 15% kwa advertisement ya mambo kama nyuele, mambo kama pombe. Sasa, rajako hakisimama hakisema ya alikuwa anakunywa pombe, hakaacha siacha hata sisi tukunywa tuache kwanza alianza kusema hivyo kwa nini yeye wakati alikuwa anakunywa kama hajawaacha kunywa pombe sisi tulikuwa tumenyamaza yeye saa hizi anaongeza tax kwa products ambazo ni za pombe wacha wananchi wakunywe kama hiyo ndio wataweza sababu unga umepandisha bei
kwa majina ni Robert Mai na kwa watu wanataka ongea wengi wameongea juu ya tax mimi najisikia niongee kidogo nipinge nipinge iko sawa nipinge kidogo kwa sababu sijasikia vizuri huyu wa Kenya kwanza venye amesema ati Ruto hako siji mimi sina kazi siji mimi hapana the 3% will not benefit the common mwananchi in this sense some of the very many people who are working at the moment are past 40 years of which if they proceed being deducted the 3% at the time when they are retiring watakuwa bada awajamaliza and they will not have any other way of finishing that it will be a total mess number two housing is not a priority at the moment kenyans are suffering they want employment they don't want houses they already have their own houses at their places from wherever they are coming from so we don't expect a government yenye inajua watu wake wanatabika inaanza kusema inajitak ili in 50 years that's what the president said while knowing that his people are suffering so this issue ya housing wange ifamisha waanze kuangalia chinzi ya kuinua economy ya nchi yetu let me talk about a little about kericho i don't know, I don't know why ruto is quiet because our people are suffering kati mzungu hiyo mashini yake tatu inachukua ma, nini maelfu ya watu wenye wangefanya hiyo kazi huyo mzungu aende kwao ile majani chai isimamishwe isimamishwe na ipatiwe watu wa kericho governor asimamie hiyo iwe kama nyayo tizon iwe kama government a parastato body in instead ya kuenda kuenda nyuma kidogo na kadhalika na hii ingine yenye mmesema juu ya hii gazeti hii pesa ni nyingi sana tu billion kwenda kutanga tanga huko nje na aleti pesa hii pesa yetu at the moment the president awache kutembea akae kwetu tukule na yeye ili tuone chenye anakula na sisi tukule asiende balipopote because all this time that he's been going out hajakuja na chochote apart from that one which were given by the americans So we don't expect him to be moving from one place to another as if he is a tourist president. Ya mwisho kwa sababu watu ni wengi. Juu ya hii mishahara yenye wanasema kama MCAs wanajiongeza we also expect the teachers, doctors and these others to be waongezo mshahara. So we they are not so special to the extent that wao kila mwaka wanajiongeza kila mwaka wanajiongeza na mahali penye Kenya imefika imefika mahali pazuri because employment yakuna so let's just have one man one job na ya mwisho iwe ni hivi one term per person MCA to the president iwe ni five years term na imalizikio hivyo hii ya mwisho ya sensation si Kenya imefika imefika mahali penye inafanya kazi nzuri sasa tugawanye ndio tuweze kuwa that's why tunasemanga hii ingine ati sub counties iwe karibu sub counties iwe karibu sasa Kenya wacha tusisidi tuwe na Kenya yetu mimi nitaenda kwa kwa people's republic i'm happy because i've already in fact i'm waiting for that the paper the work is my signature amen majina yangu naitwa William Cook ni kuwa mwanachama wa bunge la Manyata hapa Nakuru ninashukuru viongozi wote ambao tulichakuwa ni sana wale ambao walio staff ndugu wetu rais wetu Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta wakiwa pamoja na kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Molo Tinga kasa ambao waliofanya kwa miaka ambao walikuwa kwa kwa uongozi ilionekana lakini serikali ambayo tulichakuwa tukiamini ngapi inatufanyia kazi imetuletia njaa na nimeshindwa kwamba hata wana waskara ambao wanashuhia watu kwa maandamano watu wao wasasi wao watatu, wa, wa, watoto wao wanasoma kwa njia mzuri wana vyakula wana makao mazuri hata wenyewe waangalia kwamba nao pia hata kama wanakula mshahara lakini familia yao inaangamizwa 
jeshi letu la Kenya tunalipenda sana inaleta amani na tufanye ulinzi kutosha lakini je nanyi pia mko na familia ambao ina, inahitaji mahitaji toka katika kampuni wenu nao pia wana vyakula wana wanaishi saa hii nimeona eh, serikali vile imetangaza ya kwamba wanaengeza ushuru kwa kila mahali na nimeona wafanyakazi kiongozi wa chama cha wafanyakazi leo hii ametangaza kwamba ikiwa bunge inaenda kupitiza 3% wanaenda kutangaza mkomo Kenya mzima je mkomo ikiingia Kenya itakuwa inaendelea ama itakuwa inapotea kiongozi akiwa katika mamlaka anastahili atafuta investor waleje viwanda hapa Kenya vijana wapate kazi upepesi ipatikane uchumi wa Kenya uamuke ua lakini sasa kama anaanza kufanya mwelekeo wake viwanda vinafunge je wa Kenya tunarejea wapi ninaomba hivi duku zeta hapa watangulusi mheshimiwa huru mweka kinyaki ukishikana pamoja na kiongozi wetu wa upinzani shikana pamoja Kenya is poromoke mali tumeelekea angalia vile hanga imekaa inamaanisha kwamba Mungu anaenda kuletea laana ambayo tutakuwa na chakula kau ukame unaenda kuinyoka sababu mitomo ya wanamu ya wanadamu ni kilio cha wanadamu sisi wote kama makanisa ama ni kwa makanisa kuombeni sana Mungu azutu azutu hukumu kwa sababu ya watu wengine asante Mungu awabariki bunge oi huyu jamaa anasema nataka kupatia kazi mahasula ukweli si ukweli mahasula ambaye anasema anasema nataka kupatia quantity survey my engineer na architect wewe ni engineer wewe ni architect wewe ni quantity survey kama ile nyumba yake ya sukoi ni worth 10 billion na hiyo nyumba architecture alitoka ngambo engineer alitoka ngambo na watu wengine hata watu wa mjengo na mason na plamba alitoa nje wa Kenya walikuwa wamekufa wa Kenya walikuwa wameenda mgomo alafu mtu wa sukoi tena anasema sijui anataka maandamano ya mama yako mtu kitu kingine ambayo jamaa anatuambia hapa ati sasa yeye wakati ameingia kwa serikali ndiye ameona sasa hasa ndiye amekuwa mtu wa kufinya sana na wakati alikuwa anafanya kampeni yeye alikuwa anapiga kampeni akisema anasaidia nani hasa we mwenye ukabu unasema Ruto anasaidia anasaidia nini kuja hapo mambo ya kumekuwa na mambo ya pesa hii pesa ambayo anasema sio ameongeza budget ya kwenda kupanda ndege akienda ngamu imekuwa 700 million saiza ameongeza ni 1.3 million hiyo ni 2 billion unaenda ngambo kutibiwa ama unaenda ngambo kwa ziara za wakenya tulichagua marehemu ama tulichagua rais na kama ni marehemu si uko na insurance ulikupatia uko nayo si utubia na insurance hii pesa ambayo inaongezwa sio pesa ya fare za ujama ni fare za kwenda kutibiwa ngambo na tumejua sisi tunaambia hiyo mambo ya komitia bunge iangushe hiyo kitu mapema mapema na kutaka kujua ujamaa anaenda ngambo anaenda kutibiwa kwa Ruto weka hapa, chukua Raila weka hapa. Nani mzee? Raila. Kati ya Raila na Ruto, nani mzee? Ruto ni mzee kushinda Raila. Wewe chukua Ruto saa hizi weka hapa. Chukua Raila weka hapa. Nani mzee? Raila. Chukua Ruto weka hapa angalia meno, chukua Raila weka hapa angalia meno. Nani kipogoyo? Ruto ana meno saa hizi ni kipogo? Sasa nataka kuchukua pesa yetu kwenda ngambo, kuchukua meno, kununua meno kwa kwa mdomo. Sisi tulipigia Ruto kwenda kununua meno ngambo. Tulimpigia kura akuja deal na fedha wapi? Na Kenya. Sio kweli. Na hiyo ndio maneno ambayo wa Kenya tumefanya nini? Tumekataa. Sema tumekataa imanero. Tumekataa. Sema tumekataa imanero. Tumekataa imanero. Amejivalia ngozi ya kondo. Ndani yake lungwa mwitu. Ba. Naomba wa Kenya tuwe makini na hii serikali yetu kwa sababu imebeba watu wazimu sababu ya kusema watu wazimu ikiwa mnasema kwamba mtaki mungiki warudi watakosaje kurudi na wana kazi ya kufanya Wata, watakosa kurudi ikiwa mtu wako na kazi ya kufanya leo hii mnasema mko changa kibaki alipoingia kwa hii serikali ya Kenya Kenya ilikuwa inaretiwa anda chini ya Tanzania na alipoingia alisema kwamba mtoto mkenya aende shule bila malipo pesa haikuwa kwani hii nyinyi hii pesa mnasanya na inaenda wapi ikiwa hata wafanyakazi wa serikali walipwi hii serikali ni kuumia watu wanaumia cha mwisho naomba serikali muache kutumia polisi wananchi watakuwa against polisi na polisi ni watoto wetu vijana wetu sasa muache kutumia polisi na polisi nyinyi pia muache kutumika vibaya 
kwa sababu mtakuwa adui ya mwananchi na ukiwa adui ya mwananchi hata hatutasema mtu mubaya asanteni naomba wa Kenya tuwe makini na hii serikali yetu kwa sababu imebeba watu wazimu sababu ya kusema watu wazimu ikiwa mnasema kwamba mtaki mungiki warudi watakosaje kurudi na wana kazi ya kufanya Wata, watakosa kurudi ikiwa mtu wako na kazi ya kufanya leo hii mnasema mko changa kibaki alipoingia kwa hii serikali ya Kenya Kenya ilikuwa inaretiwa anda chini ya Tanzania na alipoingia alisema kwamba mtoto mkenya aende shule bila malipo pesa haiku kwa kwani hii nyinyi hii pesa mnasanya na inaenda wapi ikiwa hata wafanyakazi wa serikali walipwi hii serikali ni kuumia watu wanaumia cha mwisho naomba serikali muache kutumia polisi wananchi watakuwa against polisi na polisi ni watoto wetu vijana wetu sasa muache kutumia polisi na polisi nyinyi pia muache kutumika vibaya kwa sababu mtakuwa adui ya mwananchi na ukiwa adui ya mwananchi hata hatutasema mtu mubaya asante ndio kwa majina ni Kennedy Ogayo the good chief Leo niko na furaha sana. Tena niko na furaha kabisa. Kama leo tumepata watu wa serikali wameongea, wame support hiyo bill yao yenye wanadaka kupeleka bunge ipitishwe. Hiyo ni asante sana kwa watu wa serikali. Sasa wametusaidia kupata kitu yenye tunaweza tunaweza ongea, kuongeza na kutoa. Watu wanaongea kuhusu hii 3% wanajua tu hizi zile manyumba tu ndio iko kwa hiyo 3%. Hii kitu iko na vipengele mingi sana. Wengine wanaona tu ni hiyo oh, mambo ya nyumba sivi nini nini. Kuna vitu vingi ndani ya hiyo kitu. Na hiyo kitu wakati itafika hapa kwa ground tusome, mtajua kumbe hii kitu si mzuri. Hakuna mwenye ana kwao. Muda nakwambia ati wacha nikujengee nyumba ukuje ukae. Kama una kwenyu hiyo ni bahati mbaya lakini nimejua watu wengi wako na makwao. Hey. Sasa tuseme kama mtu kama huyo hasla, huyo mwenye, huyo mwenye anaisha hasla, huyo rutu. Hapo nakuwa kitu. Anasema anataka kujenga nyumba. Nyumba hiyo ataenda kuishi huko. Hiyo ni kitu yenye hiyo ni hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Aya ya pili. Naomba Raila Molo Dinga baba. Leo hiyo mkutano yenye wanaenda leo. Baba usituambia ati mnaenda mnarudi tena kuongea hiyo mambo ya kuongea hiyo imeisha mupange vile watu wanaisaidia kwa hii nchi hiyo ndio tunakuomba leo mkienda kwa hiyo mkutano usitoke kwa media useme ati tunapea tena hii Kenya kwanza tena nafasi ingine wa tuongee kidogo hakuna kuongea hii kuongea yenye mmeleta sasa hii mlikubali muongee hii kitu mtu anatumia ku buy time ana buy time lakini uzuri tena mkua mkua imeenda ikapotea hiyo mahindi yenye alikuwa anapiga nayo hesabu atitakuwa ili chakule kue mvua ipotee kidogo kumbe Mungu pia lali tunapiga sadi sana kwa Mungu poteza mvua kidogo hiyo mahindi yenye ilikuwa kwa ikufe sasa hii Kenya kwanza wanasema ati mahindi itakuwa hii hakuna hii hakuna sasa hiyo time yenye hasla ilikuwa na bai na hii maongeo ya azimio na hiyo Kenya kwanza hiyo wacha baba usitoke kwa media leo useme ati mmekubaliana tena mnaenda kuongea kuongea imeisha na ikiisha imeisha sisi tumechoka hapa chini tunakuomba tafadhali hii maandamano hata katu utaona kama leo umesema kitu baya hatuta hatuta jibiana na wewe lakini utaona monday monday tutatoka nje peke yetu tutatoka nje peke yetu na tena ikifika thursday tarehe moja hiyo holiday hiyo holiday tunataka leo tuambie tunakuwa na mkutano yetu atuende kwa hiyo serikali hiyo Kenya kwisha tunataka tutengee mahali tuende hata sisi pia tuserekee huko tafadhali asante sana mimi ni mwenyeji wa hii bunge la mwananchi yangu ni kusema ya kwamba ni asante kwa wale ambao umekuwakilisha alafu yenye naweza kuchangia yenye nachangia kidogo hiki imefika mahali pa nguvu nafikiria mkiangalia hapa mafundi wana kazi watu wengi hapa wana kazi hichi imefika mahali ambaye watu wamekuwa na chuki kwa sababu ya food 
So, ile kitu tulikuwa tunaomba serikali ikubali shikane na watu wa opposition ili tuweze kupata njia ambayo inaweza kusaidia mwananchi wa kawaida. Maana sasa hivi tukiangalia kazi ya vijana ilisimama, kazi ya vijana ilisimama, vijana wameingia mitaradi, wameingia mambo na bombe. Sasa sasa hata watoto wengi wameharibika kwa sababu ya njaa. So, tulikuwa tunaomba kama inawezekana wafikirie njia ambayo inaweza fanya nini kusaidia mwananchi wa kawaida. Naye watu wanaitwa polisi wasitumie wananchi kwa njia ambayo haifai. Maana mwananchi sio mnyama, tu hata mnyama anachungwa. Kwa sababu hata saa hizi mahali tumesimama tuko wengi ambao tuna kasi. Na tukiafika mahali tumefika tunaona njia zenye zinaendelea sio mzuri. Kwa hivyo tungeomba mahali ambao serikali iko ifikirie atataki mambo ya damu kumwagika tunataka tuwe na amani na wachajibu vijana wapate kazi na watu wajue vile wanaweza fundisha watoto wao kukula kwa hivyo sina mengi ya somebody who has a degree in chemistry and sees an important parallel between the development of modern scientific knowledge and the literature May I take you back to Dogo? What was the power of the Monica and Mara election? Those who have been elected, congratulations. And they have demonstrated the commitment, creativity. And people here at Bungela Mwanainchi, they are waiting to see or to receive meritorious accomplishment or wonderful achievement. I wish you every success as you have entered the new exciting stage of your life and career. Be proud of those who have been guiding you during a challenging and a demanding period in your lives. Use your knowledge and skills to bring much needed transformation at this Bunge Lamwana Inchi located within a Shabab area in a cosmopolitan and patronistic county of Nakuru. People are complaining about uh, house levy, taxes. It is too good to be true that there is a sluggish economy, spendthrift government, hyperinflation because of uh, bad leadership. A leadership whereby you walk towards somewhere only to hide the shoulders in an almost imperceptible gesture of disappointment, disillusion, or disenchanted. To have an apartment, now I don't know whether that apartment is helping you. When I stay in apartment, you have a TV, Samsung, 55 inches. 80,000 Kenya shilling. Lakini unalala nja. Does that apartment helping you? No. no. This is why the Manyata people are here to oppose this house lady and more taxes. I've said here several times that sometimes back Kenyans are overburdened by harsh economic conditions with the ravages of the COVID-19 pandemic have worsened. So if you continue with your tax, then we will lead to a, an industrial conundrum, dichotomy, abstemparas, cacophonas, denatiarias, macabra, or an environmental apocalypse. So the government team, there are few. You can see gentlemen here. Maybe he represents two people only at this Google Monarchy. It is because this government is in the wrong direction. Thank you. Kwa majina ni Saya Moraidi, mjube wa mungu, ikiongea kutoka Google ya Wanaidi ya Manyata. Asubuhi ya leo, mimi nataka kutetea wafanyikazi wa serikali ambao wananyanyazo wa sana katika kazi zao kwa tuhuma za kwamba e, wanafanya wanafanya kazi ya serikali ili hali e, wanatafuta wanatafutia wakubwa wao pesa e, nikianza kwa 
wale watu ambao wanaudia sana katika serikali kuna walimu kuna askari na kuna hata hawa civil servants ambao e, wanafanyia institution kazi za serikali yani institution za serikali ni e, kwa mfano ni peane e, hii e, e, anipeane mfano um, kwa upande wa askari nimesikia ununu ama nimesikia matetesi kwa upande wa askari askari wa Kenya ni watu ambao tunajua wamefanya kazi kwa bidii sana na hata wakati mwingine wanaumia katika kazi e, tukielekea mimi nimetembea pande yani sehemu mbalimbali Kenya na ni, kwa muda fulani kwa muda wa miezi 4 E, nimetembea huko Kakamega nimetembea hapa Omambi nimetembea Kisi nimekuwa hapa Nakuru na nimeenda pande ya Nairobi e, tu masenye sinakuja za askari kufanyishwa kazi ambayo haivai ni kwamba hawa askari e, wanakuwa harassed na wakubwa wao they are harassed e, ati hiyo aki, akifanya kazi akipewa akitoka kazi na uniform kuna pesa anavaa rudishie mkubwa wake akitoka kazi na buduki kuna pesa anavaa arudi nayo kwa mkubwa wake sasa swali ni hawa wakubwa ni ni, ni binu gani wanatumia ni koti wanachukua kwa raia ama ni nini na hizi pesa wanachukua wanashika eh, oh, eh, murarahoi huyu murarahoi ndiye anashikwa na polisi ati ara, unaona jioni saa moja ikivika askari anaharakisha ana ndio asike watu kadhaa apeleke police station ndio akarau awache mkubwa wake aendelee na hii maneno buge hoi hoi buge hoi hoi mnakubali e, murara hoi anyanyaswe na polisi ambaye anatumiwa na mkubwa wake hapana mnakubali mama boga harasiwe na na, na, na na polisi ambaye anatumiwa na mkubwa wake hapana hiyo tumekataa Tumekataa. Tumekataa. Kwa, kwa yale ana kwa yale anaendelea tunajua hata sasa kwa katika maandamano wanatumika vipaya. Buge hoi. Buge hoi. Askari msitumike vipaya katika maandamano. Hawa wa Kenya wanajaa. Na hii jaa imesemekana kwa gazeti itaendelea mpaka 2000 2024. Mna uhakika Ruto atatoboa hiyo? Hapana. Anatoboa hiyo? Hapana. Mungu yuko sa yeye anafikiria mahidi itakuwa kulingana ita, ita na vile bunge ya wananchi ina, ina, ina maoni yake lakini tunaona atapoi ingine nataka kusema hizi nyumba anajenga ana, ana hizi nyumba kwa kika kwa utafiti ule huko moyo alijenga manyumba kipaki akanyeka manyumba uhuru akanyeka manyumba na yeye anataka kujenga manyumba zile hatujaona bunge hoi hizi nyumba ukiangalia wale wanaingia hizo manyumba ni watu gani hizi nyumba hebu angalia kuna wasuhudi wako ndani kwa hizo manyumba bunge hoi wasuhudi ndio wako kwa hizo nyumba na haya kuna hawa wa Somali wa Somali ndio wako kwa hizo nyumba mimi mnatarajia we mkenya wa kawaida uingie kwa hiyo nyumba bunge hoi bunge hoi mnatakanyo peupe peupe Hakuna nyumba mnachekewa sitaingia wale wanajiweza wa Somali na wasudi. Buge hoe. Buge hoe. Wa Kenya msikubali kudanganywa mchana. Langu la kwanza ni ya kwamba tunaomba leo msiki tumeona kama azimio wanaenda kuketi wa bunge pamoja na rais wetu mstafu mheshimiwa Kenyatta. Tunaomba hiyo kikao isi turudishe tena kwa kuongea na watu wa muda hiyo kikao iende direct sababu kuna mbinu nyingi ambao mnajua kuliko hata pengine sisi inaongea naongelesha watu wazimia Kenya ikienda sana mkae chini tugawe Kenya hakuna haja ya kukaa na kubemberezana kila saa kila saa Tuko na wabunge la kutosha, tuko na governor wa kutosha. Kwa hivyo hakuna haja kukaa saa yote ati tunataka kumbembelezana. Juu jana nilisikia wakisema watu wa Uda wakisema ati sasa tena wanataka watu wakae tena kuongea. 
Hakuna nafasi kama hiyo wa Kenya wanaumia. Hatuna nafasi kama hiyo Kenya wa Kenya wanaumia. Kwa hiyo kikao ya leo tunaomba Prime Minister na watu wake muonge ikizidi Kenya igawe iwe mbili. Wenye wamependa uda waende huko, wenye wamependa zimio waende huko. Taxes igawe. Sababu sisi hatuna saa. Wananchi hawana saa ya kuketi chini na kusema tunasanya pesa ambazo zina tunapea rais kwenda kutangatanga na nchi za nje. Hatuna hiyo. Na hatuwezi kupata saa hizi sababu kila saa hii hata wengine wanalala njaa. Ya pili napongeza chief ambayo wanakuru West Mr. Langata. Umefanya kazi nzuri ni amuendelee kulingana na usalama ambao imesorota katika sana sana na kuruwez constituency wananchi hawalali na umefanya juhudi tuliona jana tukifanya juhudi mpaka asubuhi ukikamata wa wale ambao wanaleta furugu katika uzima ya wananchi kwa hivyo tunakuambia endelea na hiyo kazi ili wananchi wako wawe na amani sababu tuliona chief akichukua hiyo mjukumu pamoja na kaptembwa police station wale wakubwa wa kaptembwa mlifanya kazi kabisa tuwezi kusema hati ya mku fanya kazi na tunashukuru hiyo kazi na tunataka iendelee ili ipike mpaka wananchi wawe na amani kabisa kwa hivyo mimi sina